What's up guys, today I've got it. 2021 Top Series 2 Jumbo Box. It's release day and I'm itching to rip this, so if you're ready to watch, I'm ready to rip. Let's go! Well, here it is, and as you can see, it's got my boy, Fernando Tatis Jr. on the cover, looking like the man who saved baseball in the flesh and this is a jumbo box so i'm gonna open it on up for you you get a guaranteed auto and two relics if you guys don't know the checklist is on the beckett website so you can go check that out if you want and see if there's any of the good rookies that you like i'm looking forward to a few of them some of my favorite rookies are in this release uh first of all key brian hayes is probably the best uh highest skilled rookie of the whole year so far and he's in this release. He's a little bit older, but uh, I think he's got the, the best skill set out of everybody. It's exciting to watch. Okay, so what the heck is this on the top? Well, we've got our two silver packs. If you didn't know, you get two guaranteed silver packs in a jumbo box. You get one of these in a regular hobby box. And I don't know what this is, but they've got some loose cards sitting on top here. And that's Casey Mize. If you didn't recognize the D, I'm a Detroit Tigers fan. And that's some kind of a Casey Mize Chrome rookie. And man, I like that. So let's start the show off with a Casey Mize rookie on stage right there. And we got a Craig Biggio, another one, another little Chrome card here. Why would they just put a loose card on top with no protection no pack whatsoever i don't know i'm not here to ask questions i'm here to provide answers <laughs> let's, let's let's keep going uh, i'm gonna dump those out should we open the silver packs first is that what i'm hearing you guys want me to open the silver packs first that one feels a little thick let's start right here and then we're gonna look at the odds because I hope the odds of, on this product are better. I heard a little rumor that the odds are better. Like they made less of this stuff, which would be, a, that'd be a real blessing. There's a Carlson Silver Pack rookie, okay. Probably my second favorite rookie, maybe. Uh, you know, besides, besides Mize and Key Brian, I really like Dylan Carlson. And you can't go wrong with a Silver Pack rookie. These things tend to gem up pretty nice. It's a thicker cardstock, and it's got kind of like that mojo design from the Bowman Mega Boxes, you'll notice. But that's sweet, I like that. You got the Rosarena, Mike Schmidt. Let's see what's in here. Let's see if we get a parallel or an autograph out of here just to, just to make this little personal rip. Start with a bang. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a thickie in here, ladies and gentlemen. There's the key, Brian. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Should I stop while I'm ahead? Maybe I should just stop while I'm ahead. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you plan on buying any of this product. And if so, what format you're looking to get. Dude, this might be an auto. Oh, it is. Look at that. Ryan Weathers. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a good box. It's already a great box. The Mize, the Carlson, the Key Brian. We got a silver pack auto. Crushing it. Hook me up with a like and a subscribe if you're new around here. If you are new around here, you're going to like it. I guarantee it's just like the men's warehouse, but for baseball cards. You're going to like it, I guarantee. Okay, let's look at these odds. Because I got pulled up on the other screen here, and we can do a little screen share. I wanted to see, okay, let's see. Rainbow foil, one out of two. Gold, one out of four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twice as good odds. We got green foil board, one out of 17, which they did not put the odds on the first series one. 
orange foil board, red foil board, vintage stock, one out of 84. Oh, baby, they made like half as much of this stuff. Independence Day, one out of 109. Oh, wow, okay, come on over, let's do a little screen share. Okay, you will see right here, we got rainbow foil. This is for 2021 series one. The rainbow foil is one out of two. Same rainbow foil, one out of two. The gold though, in, in series two is one out of four. Look at that, twice as good odds. And the jumbo, the Independence Day was one out of 214. Now it's one out of 109. The black used to be one out of, oh, oh, look at this. Used to be one out of 43. Now it's one out of 47. So that's harder, actually. All right. How about the Mother's Day and Father's Day? One out of 165 in the new release. Oh, one out of 325. Yes. Memorial Day, one out of 329. This this one, it was one out of 650. Oh, jackpot. All right, guys, come on back over with me. Let's rip some of this open. This is, this is great news. If they made about half as much of this stuff, which is what it looks like, oh, it's, it's going to be a lot funner to open more parallels. Okay. This is exciting. Let's see. Is there anybody that we really... So, first of all, I mean, I didn't look at all the odds here, but I, I really want to get a... An SP. Oh, no. <sighs> well, there's the first big time check in a negative box of horrifying proportions. You know who's in this, guys. If you want to know what the deal is with K word there. Type in a search on YouTube, The Ballad of Kikuchi. Oh, even saying it makes me shiver. You'll find out everything you need to know. There's the Jazz. That's one of the guys we're looking for. Jazz Chisel, very talented. This, this kid is, he's a special talent. I'm digging Jazz. He makes the Marlins worth watching. Just like Key Brian makes the Pirates worth watching. Sorry, part, Pirates and Marlins fans, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, our first gold, and it is a gold-ish because that looks more like a brown or a tan. So the golds are tan, and then there's the gold foil. But that's a crisp sale to 2021. You're getting more props for the gold stamp. That's the way to do it, Tops, the gold stamp. You got, you got to stamp it gold. Don't stamp it black. Delino to Shields. So this is... Oh, Oh, man, look at this. Okay, so we got the DeShields. And if you don't know, the reason why you buy a jumbo box is because of these gold foil cards. Highly desirable, low print run. Typically, it's a print run around 600. It might be even less than that in this release. I'll have to do a print run just to check. But that means that these are much more rare than pulling an actual gold that's, at, that's to 2021. So if you get your rookie in the gold foil... That's good news. And your mean Mercedes. This is the third your mean Mercedes autograph I've gotten. Out of just from series one, I got two of the exact same one, but it was a sticker auto. This is his rookie auto, and this is an on card, baby. Let's go. People love Mercedes. I think he's a great story. But I'll probably be selling this card. That's sweet though. You're mean, my, hey, two autographs already. And oh, that's a sweet magical too. I thought he was gonna win rookie of the year. Now I don't know. Now probably not. But that's a sweet card there. Throwback. Okay, I'm liking this product a lot more than regular series one already. McGuire All Star. Let's just put him up there. Devin Williams Cup. We'll just kind of flow through these. Pavement Smith. That's a decent rookie. He's getting some PT. Love that. I, something about that Twins logo. I really like it. If you'll notice in the back there, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a Joe Maurer jersey 
with a big chunky patch like that on it from the All-Star game. And I think that turned me on to the logo a little bit. All right, pack number two. Looking for an SP. I want to actually. I'm looking for an SSP. Why go? Why go with just a regular SP when you can get an SSP or an SSSSSSSP? The more S's, the better. That's what they say. All right, our first rainbow foil. Uh, I mean, Delano De Shields is okay, but let's spread around. Let's spread the love around a little bit. I don't need any more Delinos. Glaber, is this a home run card? Home run challenge for anybody new to the game. You flip that over, scratch it off go on the website and pick the game you think he's going to get hit a home run. And if it happens, you get a special card. So we'll put that in the good card pile. DH debuts. DH debuts. What? Seager played nine games as a DH in 2020. That's an interesting subset. I don't know about it. I don't know about the concept. DH debuts, because we were all wondering about that. I should probably separate all the rookies. Usually I separate all the rookies. I'll have to do that afterwards. No need to, to waste your time separating the rookies from the regs. Oh yeah, I want to see what the SP odds are. So it was one out of 24 for series one. Oh, it's one out of 12. It's twice as easy. The The SSP is one out of 362, and it was one out of 715. <sighs> Jordan Hicks. A lot of rookies that We'll just say are under the radar in this series two. So last year's series two had had the man, Luis Robert, and it, and that was about it. Dean Kramer rookie. This is uh, it's already a superior product in my opinion. 2020 series two was not great. Other than Robert, it was it was a trash bag. Cole Hamels. So this is gold number two. We're already crushing the golds. And gold foil number two. I wonder if it's going to go like that. The gold foils and the golds are in the same pack. That would be a bummer for people going to like the hobby shop and just buying a, like one jumbo pack or something. Because maybe you just get shut out or you get hooked up. There's a... What is that? Okay, this is a throwback card. That's the 2019 flagship design. Normally, I would say that, I mean, that, it would have looked like a, like an SP, kind of. Here's the Yachty. Kind of looks like an SP. And the team cards, the we ran out of ideas, so let's just put the teams on there, cards. Mickey Moniak, former number one overall pick right there. He would definitely get some hobby love if he started getting consistent playing time and actually did something with it. People love a former number one overall pick for collectability purposes. Plus, it's Philly. Fairly, fairly large market there. All right, we're looking for some exotic parallels and an SP. All right, Cronenworth. That is a sick card. That's that's a perfect. I love it when the rookies are also cup cards, just like that, like the Jordan was last year. 
something about it, that little extra flair of having the cup on there, it's checking two boxes, the rookie and the, the cup card. There we go. Cronenworth. That looks pretty centered too, doesn't it? That, that's a nice looking card. That's gradable. A lot of the times, you know, the flagship stuff is can be tough to grade. It's the, the card stock's thin. But these have white borders, so it's not gonna be that difficult for edges and corners. To gem up. All right, we got another rainbow foil. Parallels galore, look at all these. Hunter Dozier, just making sure. So that the, the, little, the little number on the bottom right there is how you can tell if you've got an SP or not. And it'll be different. It's 23 are the last two numbers. So when we find our SP, I'll show you. So shed long and right here is something. Oh, we got back to back to back. All right, here we go. There's our SP. Look at that, William Contreras, love it, a rookie SP. So you'll see that the number is 41 down there. I don't know if that's an SP or an SSP. I'm, I'm guessing it's an SP. Usually the SSPs will, will be like 42 or something. The lower number is typically the SP. So that's not bad. Not really my guy, but now that Ozuna's done forever, probably. Maybe they got a little bit extra room in the lineup to, I know he's a different position, but. Oh yes, I didn't even see what that was. That's a Jeter relic. Player worn Jeter relic, Hall of Fame relic, let's go. I'm not gonna complain about that. I don't have any Jeter relics and I collect Hall of Fame relics. That's, that's like, it's my little, my little niche of, of Hall of Fame stuff. Cause I, I don't really collect Hall of Fame cards. Typically like players, I mean, I've got a few, but since I got back into the game a little bit later, like when I was younger collecting in the late eighties, early nineties, I didn't really get a, a, a bunch of older cards. So my oldest cards are probably from the late eighties early early to mid 80s i got a few okay a mike trout significant statistics 220 feet that's his average and that leads by a lot wow look how much better trout is than everybody else even acuna that's a nice card put him in the why is Peyton smith over here get out of here dude i mean you're all right all right we got another cronenworth Let's just start a, I guess he was in the good rookie pile, although I don't know about that. Like he's okay. I'm not ready yet to put him in the good rookie pile. McClanahan, however, is quite good. And we got the Kim rookie. Okay, I'm a Padres fan also. So definitely gonna be top loading this one. This was the Padres International Free Agent Acquisition. And it's a good thing they got him, man. They've they've needed him. With Tatis going down for these short stints a couple times, Cronenworth and Kim have been invaluable. Okay, Arahus. Not too bad. He's been getting a little PT too. I'm gonna put him over there also. Arroyo leading off a little bit. But what if we could get another SP? Because, man, that looks like an SP. These ones, man, these, these three do. And here's another thing. I like it more zoomed in. I like the cards when they're zoomed in more. Like, that's, a, that's okay. That's pretty good. But when they're zoomed out any more than that, I start not really liking the pose. Just trying to be real picky here. What you doing there, Sano? Playing with the dirt? You trying to get the wind? Is that what you're doing? Seeing what way the wind's blowing? We all know you don't care. Got a Daz Cameron rookie. A 
Bass Grove. Laser. Oh, that's cool. Jared Walsh Cup card. Didn't know that was in there. It's kind of weird because he's a 2019 rookie. I don't know. Well, his rookie cards were in 2019. 2019 update, I think. Or was it Series 2? I don't remember. Isaiah kiner falafa Rainbow Foil. We got 0-60 to 60 RBIs. That's kind of cool. The 60 games are fewer set by driving. Okay. I kind of like that. That little insert there. Put them in the pile. Lindor for the Mets. I, I hate the horizontal cards. Pusano, Marmalejos, a couple more rookies. Let's get a big Mother's Day card. Father's Day, something, something around the 50 or lower numbered. There he is. Key Brian. Like that. I'm just going to set him there. I'm not going to top load him for now. I'll get him in there. Just try to fly through this a little bit quicker. What do you guys think so far? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. And hook me up with a thumbs up and a subscribe, please. Please and thank you. Clint Frazier, is that one? Is that one? 23. No, that's the regular. Eddie Rosario, gold foil. Looking for the rookies in the gold foil. That's kind of the thing. You want the rookies. Contreras. Chrome's going to be really nice this year. A nice pile of rookies. You know, there's there's no super standout rookies that are like really young with this Hall of Fame trajectory, potentially, if they continue doing what they're doing. At least nobody that I've seen yet. So there's not like this mega hype, but there it there there are a lot of really quality rookies. Ones that should be in the league for quite a while, many years, all stars, things like that. I don't know about Hall of Famers. I don't know if there's enough time if you come in when you're like 24. Another gold foil. And it is Chad Wallach. All right, we got something, something fancy. Woo, look at that. There's the orange foil board. Tommy Pham. That's a pretty gnarly card. So that is to $2.99. $2.99, I'm gonna stage that up. That's stand worthy. McGuire, Clayton Claus, another Jemani Jones. Ryan Weathers, rookie. So this is the first morning that I actually got up early enough to check the Target website to see if they're putting cards on there. And of course, the one time I go look, they don't do it. So I got up at like 6 a.m. I went to bed at like 3 a.m. 
coffee break. All right, I'm revitalized. I don't, know, I don't know exactly what I was looking for. Maybe some of this. Because, man, if the jumbos are this good, if they're twice as good, the retail stuff's going to be really nice. I mean, we're going to be back to, like, where hanger boxes are killer. Like, every box has something sweet in it, which is, I'm so glad of that. That's a big deal. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Zach McKinstry. Little, little silver uh, rainbow foil there. I like that. I'm going to put that over here. Then we've got a Chris Bryant to 300, which that is an advanced stats card. We're getting some goodies. Advanced stats. I think they're like one out of 70 or something. Jumbos. And the die cuts are of Tatis, the Platinum Players. That's cool. They were... Or, wait, they're probably not all Tatis, are they? No, I just got a good one. Oh, look, and they forgot to punch out the top. Is that an error card? Is that a special error card that's worth tons of money because they didn't punch out the top? $100. Who wants it? Just kidding. Joey Bart, rookie. Kirk rookie the green foil man you did not get two of these foil board cards in series one ever so that's sweet and look at this oh oh, oh yes that's sick that is sick logo patch commemorative rookie card logo patch dude that's the one I would want 
I'm happy about that. Man, we got, we got hooked up. Look at that. What size, what size you reckon that is? 168? Yep. We got a Yelich and an Acuna. Closing it out with the last pack. Here it is. Last few cards. Ammoniac. And that is all. Okay. Very good. Very good. Just going to slide that into a top loader real quick. Wow. So much better than Series 1. Dare I say twice as good as Series 1? It's got to be. I mean, should I even show you? I'm not even going to show you everything on the stage. I'm just going to let it simmer. Go back through. Watch it all. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all later.